Hi everyone, it's Laura from Sweet Handmade Cookies. Welcome to my Sweet Handmade Cookies kitchen, where I'm working on a set of ice cream cone inspired cookies because Olivia is a sweet one. So today I thought it would be interesting to discuss the time it takes to decorate cookies. The times I will tell you about today do not include designing the set, making the dough, cutting the shapes, baking the cookies, preparing images to use in my overhead projector, making the icing, coloring the icing, packaging the cookies, or the never-ending dishes and cleanup. And just to make it clear, I'm not complaining. I love every part of making cookies, from the design to the execution, working with my amazing customers, and seeing the end results. Dishes I could leave, but it's part of the process too. So the first part for decorating this set was to flood the cookies. I'm showing you that process here sped up four times the regular speed, but I can tell you that flooding the 24 cookies, six of each design, took 30 minutes. And then I let those cookies dry for six hours. And now that that layer is dry, I can start on the next steps. The first step is to add the lines to this ice cream cone cookie. And I'm gonna also add a drip of ice cream to the scoop of ice cream at the top and add the smooshy part of the ice cream in between the cone and the scoop, which I will make more smooshy in a step you'll see in just a little bit. And adding those lines, the drip, and the smoosh section took two minutes per cookie for a total of 12 minutes. On this next cookie, you will see how the ice cream cone is becoming the central theme of this set. So the bottom half of this one that I'm piping onto this cookie is the cone, and the top half of it is the ice cream. It's very cute. And adding this one to the dried flood layer on all six of the cookies for this set took just over 10 minutes. Next is this sweet one cookie. These cookies were the easiest to flood at 52 seconds each. The more intricate designs took an extra about 20 seconds each, but this one took the most effort to get the details on. Just the writing of the word sweet and the O and E in a cone color on the bottom and ice cream on the top took 30 minutes for six cookies. And they're not done yet. As we watch the decorating process, you can see it takes extra time to be precise on the piping of the letters and to fill in the outline that I create so that they don't lose the letter shape and start being blobs. And for this, uh, the O and then the E, I have to pick up a piping bag four different times. Each time I pick up a piping bag, it takes a second or two to fit it properly into my hand and all those little things add on to the time of decorating this cookie. Next is the piping of the little one's name, Olivia. This cookie's uh, letters are smaller than the ones on the previous cookie, so there's a little more effort to make sure the letters stay crisp. One of the ways I achieve that crispness is to use slightly thicker icing and a slightly smaller hole in the piping bag. Guess what? That slows down my speed and increases the time of decorating. For thicker icing, I sometimes have to use a scribe tool to smooth that icing out, and that's an added step as well. And I'm using four different colors on this cookie, so picking up and adjusting the piping bag in my hand is also at a time. Piping Olivia onto these cookies took the longest of all the cookies at five and a half minutes each for a total of 33 minutes for six cookies. And they're not done yet. So it's been two hours since I piped these letters onto this cookie. Uh, they are crusted over and ready for me to put on the finishing touches, starting with the ice cream cone lines and then adding sprinkles. It's just under two minutes per cookie for a total of about 12 minutes.
And now let's finish up the ice cream cones. First, I'll create the smooshy layer with some extra icing and a brush to smush it. And then I'll add sprinkles to the top of the cone. One and a half minutes per cookie for a total of nine minutes for all six. Adding the ice cream cone designs to the one added another 18 minutes and adding those same elements to Olivia added another 24 minutes. And so here is the finished set. I let the cookies dry overnight to make sure they wouldn't get squished once packaged for a total of about 20 hours of drying time, both in between the steps and after they were finished. Total hands-on decorating time, actually putting icing onto these 24 cookies took 181 minutes or just over three hours. Again, there are a lot more steps and time to decorating cookies, hours and hours more time. But this gives you an idea of what goes into making cookies, especially since I have whittled 181 minutes of decorating time down to six minutes of viewing time. Happy birthday, sweet Olivia. Be sure to reach out if you need cookies for special occasions. I am located in Ontario, just north of the GTA. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you next week.